uh, Pastor Gail said, there are two types of people. She said, there's some people you just have to let go of. You just got to let them go. You just got to go ahead and just cut ties with and just move on. And then there are some people that you have to learn how to fight for. And the challenge of life is finding out who's who. Who are the people you fight for and who are the people you, you go ahead and go your separate ways with. And, I, and it's such a simple quote, but it's so profound because to me, the Bible says, guard your heart above all else because the issues of life flow from that place. Um, and it's crazy because the, another translation says it determines the course of your life. So guard your heart. And to me, most of our problems, if we really think about some of the most pain that we've been through, if we think about some of the issues in our world, if we think about just the nature of human existence, most of our problems came from people, interacting with people, dealing with certain people. And so I've learned personally, um, and I personally believe that God has graced certain people for you. There are certain people that have grace for you. There are certain people that you just that you just don't connect with, and it's it's not personal. There's there's just there's something there that doesn't connect. Um, I had a group of friends when I was young. They were just convinced I just talk way too much. They was like, "Oh, you talk too much. Like, stop talking." And then there was another group of friends that if I didn't talk, it was like, "What's wrong? Why are you not talking?" And it was like, "Okay." Yeah, I got to figure out what I'm supposed to do because y'all don't like it when I talk. Y'all think something's wrong when I don't talk. What's the balance? And the balance is be around people who have grace for you. Be around people who they don't find it hard to love you. They don't make a big deal of the things that, quote unquote, some people say you're too much or you're too extra for them. Like I see this quote and I'm y'all know how I feel about Instagram quotes, but um, it was saying how you're not asking for too much. You're just asking the wrong person. Um, and, the, the, and, or, and the other famous Instagram quote, um, it'll, it'll say, you know, go where you're celebrated. And I've seen people say, you know, this is my year. Where I'm going to only be where I'm celebrated. And the reality is it's a little dangerous because that's, that's, not, that's, not, that's a perverted view of life, thinking that everywhere you go, people are going to celebrate you. It's not the case. Um, and in fact, you, if, if you're walking with God for real, for real, you're probably going to be hated. You're probably going to be talked about. If you're doing anything that's really dope or special, people are going to talk about you. If you're trying, people are going to talk about you. Um, and I, I can't tell people go where you're celebrated. But I can say when it comes to the people you're going to do life with, make sure they celebrate you. Make sure they have capacity to celebrate you. But then also recognize that they need grace. And it's not saying that our behavior, especially if it's detrimental or toxic, we're supposed to just project that on the people. No, I'm just saying there are people who, it's just, it seems like God has called them to love you. God has called them to be in your life. And so we shouldn't take offense. Don't worry about it. We shouldn't take offense um, when people are honest about their incapability to do life with you. That's okay. You know what I'm saying? So, but it is a challenge because what happens is we rock with this person. We rock with this person. And then sometimes we try to force these connections. We really need to go back to the drawing board and ask God, okay, God, what was this person's role supposed to be in my life? So that way I don't put someone where they weren't called to be and then be mad at them when they can't show up for me the way I wanted them to. Um, it's very, very complicated. They was like, Al, this is so false. So I was like, let me read it. Um, because y'all know how, again, how I feel about IG quotes. It said, the quote says, it's not your job to teach people how to communicate, behave, or show up for you. It's not your job to beg and chase adults for connection and clarity. But date people who match your standards. Befriend those who value friendship like you and release the connections that you've outgrown. Now, you can hear that and say, wow, there's, there's, some, there's some truth in that. But the reality is, um, there's a lot of stuff in this quote that's not true. And 
what will happen is someone will read this and they'll try to apply it to their life and they'll end up very much unfulfilled, very discontent, and they'll see a constant negative cycle in most of their relationships. Because the truth is, it is your job to teach people what you need. And the real challenge about teaching people your needs or communicating your needs or teaching people or establishing boundaries is it takes a lot of self-awareness to be able to even know what you need. Because most people, they don't realize that they think they're, ex they're expressing some of their needs or they're expressing um, some of their desires as it pertains to how they want to be treated. And they're, 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 some of their requests are very shallow because the self-awareness is shallow. We're actually together. We marry. We wake up next to each other. And I say, hey, um, I'm going to communicate one of my needs. I really like to have water in the morning. This is true. I really like to have water in the morning, right? I think I just communicated something I need. So I wake up the next morning, and there's water right there waiting for me. But it got ice in it. I'm going to be upset that there's either ice in my cup or I could say, well, you know what? I never communicated that I need water with no ice. And so it's important that while we're communicating our needs, we get specific in our needs. So for example, you could say, oh, I'm somebody who needs affirmation. That's great. I'm happy that you found out that's what you need, but let's go deeper. What type of affirmation do you need? I'm a type of person, I don't want to hear this, I want to hear that. But until I communicate this, I'm going to be affirming you in ways and I might miss the mark. And then either you're going to have to be okay with someone learning you or living in that lie that people are supposed to read your mind. You got to be okay with learning how to assess what you really need. And, and this is the thing. I said this in Love Language series and then we're done. When you're communicating your need, you can't think any less of yourself for having to. You can't feel like well, it's not real if I told you how to love on me. That's not true. It feels like, dang, it's not authentic anymore because I told you to do that. That's not the case. And it's in movies where they caught eyes and he did what she wanted and she did exactly what he wanted. That's beautiful. And that may happen. We've all experienced these dope moments where it's like, oh, we think of the same thing. But then it's like, no, nah, like, like we have to actually speak each other's language. I have to know what you do and don't like specifically. Because when you're self-aware, what happens is you're, you learn how to communicate who you are to people, and it gives them a better opportunity to love you better. The reading minds thing, and I agree, you, don't, you can't chase nobody down. You can't force connections, yes. Um, of course, you're not supposed to teach nobody how to behave. But it is very vital that you, you do learn to communicate your needs. So important, but you got to get to know yourself. And you got to get to know the inward part to yourself to really be specific in your needs. Because you asked for water, I gave you Poland Spring. You can't get mad at me because your favorite water is Essentia. You never said which water specifically. You see what I'm saying? So to me, like in, when we, and we talk about our clients, conflict and relationships gives birth to both parties learning how to serve and love on each other better. And so even if someone gets it wrong, embrace it, and then decide if this is something you want to, you know, if, if this is something you want to invest in, um, because you have to have a goal that we're going to work through this and not if there's an issue here, we're done. This idea that there's someone out there that just knows how to love you. You know how much stuff we've been through, how much stuff triggers us, all the trauma some have been through. If we don't really learn how to communicate some of our needs, especially in a way that's healthy, it's going to be very complicated.